Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophynet, and welcome back to Bioshock 2 with the Minerva's Den DLC. There's a. I found the final big daddy with the little sister, and I'm gonna, well, make him have a very bad time. So, uh, here we go, and I think I'm gonna go for the armor piercing rounds. I laid down two trap spears, so we should be crossing those two as well. Okay, so that's that, and then rockets. There we go. Okay, almost all my resources gone, but at least I have the final little sister. Here we go. On my shoulder, there we go. So now, last but not least, my two final pieces of uh, atom that I can gather. I hate, I hate this place. I hate this place, the turbine. Like, bad memories. I'm just that's all I'm gonna say. Very, very bad memories. I don't have a lot of stuff here. Maybe I might go with uh, some of the anti-personnel rounds and then the phosphorus buck. And normal laser cells if all else fails, but I don't have any traps left because I used them all on the big daddy. <laughs> Just gonna be preemptive a bit. Angels, so we remember. So it's just trying my plasmids a bit. There we go. Make this difficult. Thinker can still see. As long as I shoot headshots. Almost done. I'm searching the way I'm going. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. God damn it. Okay, yes we are. Ooh, okay. So I'm running out of uh, resources. I'm trying to get as much money as I can around here. No, oh, stop firing at me. You won't do with this. Jesus. Luckily, rivets are uh, a common common type of ammunition, so I'm not really wasting. Ooh, thermal cells. Where the hell? This, because that wasn't the big daddy or his gun. Because I searched both of those. Oh my god! Look at this guy. Upgraded drill. He has. I kind of missed this. So is this is? I did a gather over there in the corner, and the vacuum bot was over there. But there's an upgraded drill inside of the stomach of this guy. There we go. That was. Awesome. Uh, and then we have a few more supplies over here. I'm actually going to heal up. And then this elevator. I knew I missed something. This elevator actually goes down, if I'm not mistaken. Even though the button says up, this elevator goes down into exhaust venting. And the last uh, vacuum bolt is here as well. I'm going to have to go with telekinesis for this one. This is very loud again. And I knew I missed an area. No, 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 no. Uh, let's go with that. And then maybe... Fire it might not be working on this guy. There we go. Solid slugs. There we go. Fiery Brute Splicer is down. We can handle these and this is where Incinerate is. Incinerate 2 immediately, which is handy. I'm actually gonna swap that out for Cyclone Trap because we don't really need to set traps anymore. 
Well, for now at least. Let's search the toolbox. Man, this place is loud. I'm sorry if I'm yelling, but I'm wearing a hat set. Hi. There we go. Any more fire Houdini spices? I don't think so. And that means if I destroy this final vacuum bolt, because I think this is the last one I'm missing. There we go. Destroyed the vacuum bolts in operations. Garbage collection. There we have the trophy. And there we go. Another uh, atom slug. There we go. Every uh, vacuum bolt in the game completed. Have all the splices. Well, not all the splices. Have all the plasmids. No, 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 I don't like you. That was a lot of drill fuel, but I don't really care at this point. Because I'm still looking for that final atom corpse, corpse, so give me a second. Okay, after a long look, I found uh, the last corpse at this uh, thing. We found the, the gene tonic here, I think. Uh, do I have any traps? I have a few of them. Let's just, let's just do this. If I lose a lot of health, I lose a lot of health, but uh... You think I was slacking one? I have a bolt here. Sean is still with me. Might as well set everybody on fire. Burn, baby, burn, disco inferno. Oh, let the splices burn, burn it, burn. Put it out? I can put it out with my laser beam. Bunch of weasels. Goodbye. Almost done. What the hell did I just open? Goodbye. What the? Oh. Sorry, I was standing in the fire. That was all my fault. That was a lot of money. That was a lot of money. Let's go back out of this place because I, I really don't like this place. Let's just leave. Oh, hi. Whoop. I'm just leaving. I'm not going to waste any more resources on these guys. Oh, for fuck's sake. Just leave it like that. Dodging fireballs. Saving little sisters. In the peace and quiet of... This is actually pretty cruel, because I'm saving her, which makes her not immortal anymore, right in front of, like, half a thousand... Splicers! Atom addicts! There we go, another trophy, so I got all the atom... I can't... Oh, fucks. Oh, I forgot about that. I know I do that all the time, and I forget about that, and... Yeah... Oh, shit, this is gonna... This is going to be a problem. This is going to be a problem. Get health, kids! What do I have? What do I have? I have pretty much nothing. Oh, 11 pieces of armor piecing rounds. Oh, God. That was over there. Where is she? Nope! Stop fireballing me! Oh no! Stop upsetting my butts! Yeah. 
Die! For fuck's sake, die! 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 Big sister, please die, thank you! Wow! Okay then, and then we still have to do that. Ah, oh, the final level, okay. Um, I do have a bit of cash now. And all the atom I still can I hear. No, 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 no. I hear a, a, a brute splicer. I'm not interested. There we go. Don't wanna, don't wanna deal with you either. So now, let's spend our last. Ooh. Cheers. Nope. Yeah, and I'm all out of spears as well. Five spears. That's pretty much all I have right now. And now we got a gift. We gonna get a gift. No, no, no. I want I want the gift. Armored Shell 2. Which is really good. And then a lot of Adam and money. Let's purchase some uh, gene upgrades. Um, Eve. Yes. Health. Yes. And then. I'm gonna have to prioritize here. I can do. Or I can't do. Oh wait, I need to go to the other one. Because they're not they're not all the same. The Gatheris Garden Gardens each have their own inventory. So if I go to the other one, I think I can actually buy Electro Bolt 3 from over there. And a few other interesting ones. Um I'm not gonna bother. I'm not gonna bother. I'm not gonna bother. There we go. I think that was pretty efficient. Now here. I think, yeah, there we go. Electro Bolt 3. Can I have both of them? Is there a telekinesis tree? No. That's too bad. But. Um, Electro Bolt 3. And Incinerate Tree. There we go. So that upgraded everything there. And then I might go with another um, health upgrade. Yeah, health upgrade and a gene tonic slot. Just gonna spend everything now. Um, let's put armored shell in as well. So that we have the double protection now. I'm gonna repair. I don't know if they come along with me. So I'm gonna wait with repairs uh, and everything else. Yeah, I can't really. Ooh, I don't have any laser cells anymore. Relatively cheap laser cell, so I should be able to uh, buy a few of those without Well having to scrunch for cash. I know this guy has a lot of rivets. There we go And then let's go into uh, Core access and finish this once and for all. Let's go to the tinkers core No, 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 no. That sounds like a brute splicer again. I don't care. Let's open this up Root access granted so I think I'll have every trophy by the end of this, which is good because this kind of feels like a, a guide then as well, which is nice. Not like to help yet, people. Sigma. I am still crunching the numbers. I can't hack the camera. Can't hack the camera, and there's a lot of guys over there. Oh, oh shit! I'm out of. Oh wait. I gotta get under something. There we go. Watch out. Seriously? Oh, they didn't come in here or what? No, 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 you don't. There go all my latest laser cells. Hell, there's one way into the core that wall can't lock off. The maintenance access shaft. Sorry to send you down, down through the pit. It's all we've got. Okay, then. So this guy died. Print out the Tinker's code. There we go. 
Jesus. I might have to stop hacking stuff because uh, I'm losing more things than I'm getting. Um, and it's not really efficient anymore. So I might be able to hack that, but I'm not going to. Um, ah, I can't deactivate the alarm, but I'm just going to whack this because there's music coming out of it. Cigarettes, yeah. Yeah, really needed to smoke that. Sometimes I have this compulsion to just pick something up. We can't go over here, obviously, because he just locked it up. So we're going to have to go down into the pit. Employees only. Doesn't seem so bad. Anything else? New upgraded weapon? An ion laser with a lot of laser cells. Ooh. That was nice. That was very nice. What is driving you into the core, Sigma? What compels you to defy the Tinker's equation? Okay, that was Wall, probably. Because he's trying to block me off. Not that it's working, because he's kind of an idiot. Even for being that smart. Uh, put it me, thank you very much. And then... Uh, Electrobolt to the door switch. Ooh. Money underneath the stairs. That's rule number one in game design. Always look... Well, I'm playing a game. Always look underneath the stairs. So down here. Is it your deep love for Porter and for Tenenbaum? Ah! You hardly know them, Sigma. You have never even met them. And that is correct, Reedwall. You do have a point. We never even met them. Fountain of Youth. Um, might be handy. Handy. Standing in water slowly restores health and Eve. I've really checked how much that is. It's apparently not that significant. Oh, although, it is. I used anti-personnel rounds on those guys. God damn it. That was... That just hurt a little bit. Like... Oh, no, 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 no. Jesus Christ. I am blind. I can't see these things. Ryan's secret police came for Potter long ago, and now he has reappeared in Minerva's den? A man sent to Persephone does not just open his cell door and walk home. Do you feel it? Do you feel it, audience? The impending plot twists. Because yeah, it is coming. This is of course a Bioshock game, even if it is a DLC. This is a standalone story, and of course they... Uh, they added something. You know what, before we head any further, might want to recap what exactly happened. So, Porter, after his wife died and uh, he was struck with grief and he entered Rapture, uh, founded Rapture Central Computing, founded Minerva's Den and created the Tinker, an AI capable of thinking for itself. Um, his colleague became jealous, Reed Wall, and uh, forged some evidence using the Tinker to set Porter up and he was sent to prison by Andrew Ryan to Persephone. Uh, we've been to Persephone in Bioshock 2, the main game. Uh, and after that, Reed Wall let everything go to shit, especially after Ryan... Well, uh, Ryan died at the hands of us in Bioshock 1, by the hands of his son. And after that, Reed Wall started using uh, a lot more, started splicing a lot more, using a lot more Adam. And he started to lose his mind. But in the meantime, somehow, Porter returned. But that doesn't seem to add up. How did Porter escape prison? How did Porter escape the upside down prison of Persephone? A place that is seemingly, well, impossible to escape from. Well, let's find out, shall we? Uh, no, 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 no. I could be able to, I would be able to hack that, I'm just gonna let it over there. Okay, explosions. I've tried to keep you from the heart of the machine. You did not listen. When the pangs of familiarity sting you, my friend, you will have only yourself to blame. The pangs of familiarity sting you, my friend, you will only have yourself to blame. Because wall. It feels like Wall knows what is going on, because he's starting to question our resolve, question why we're here. Um, 
I'm just going to leave that there for a second because that, of course, is going to explain things. But I just want to recap something else as well. So Tenenbaum, after we saw her in uh, Bioshock 2, well, actually, at the same time, she was trying to look for allies and she found it in Porter here. Porter, who told her that the Tinker would be able to cure the Adam disease, cure the little sisters from their addiction. And she would need to be able to leave Rapture alongside the Tinker uh, using the components of the computer if we bring them along that we could rebuild the machine on the surface and try to cure the atom sickness that way. Um, to help Porter out, Tenenbaum sent a specific alpha series, Subject Sigma, us, to help Porter out and that's where this game began. While fearing that uh, the Tinker might be, uh, well, in danger because we our main goal is to get to the Tinker, tried to blow us up and that's how this whole thing began. But now, this. Look at this room. This is just... This is so cool. Let's just listen to Rapture Departure Protocol. Well, Thinker, Ryan's secret police are on their way. They cooked up some kind of evidence against me. Treason, they say. I've heard what happens to folks who get disappeared, come back as one of those metal daddies. So I'm leaving you with something to cogitate on in my absence. Inputting Rapture Departure Protocol. Figure a way to get yourself out of this city, Thinker. You've got to live on, no matter what happens to me. You'll find a way. This kind of makes it obvious. Um, I'm not going to spell it out just yet. So, Porter decided that, well, he was going to get lost in Persephone. He was not going to come back. And for that, he told the Tinker to find a way out of Rapture himself, or itself in this case. But yeah, maybe the Tinker did. Sigma, Porter, the Tinker in a loop. I'm not going to spoil it just yet. I mean, if you figured it out, you figured it out. But I'm just, this, this is just way too cool to just, it's obvious. But yeah, I'm just going just gonna to go for it. Here we go. Here we go. Hello, Tinker. Uh, the Tinker. Look at this glorious machine. You're in the Thinker's core. The code printer is upstairs in the control booth. Top level access only. You'll need to confirm your genetic identity to start the printing process. We need to confirm our genetic identity to start the printing process, but why would that work on us? We're just a big daddy, right? We're just a big dad. I'm just going to hack everything here. Because, of course, these uh, shops aren't here for uh, just for show. So, filled up a bit. And let's head upstairs. Uh, I think there's two ways I can go. I'm going to have to be careful. I'm not sure if there are any machines already awake at this point. I don't think there are. So, here we go. Here we go. Are you guys ready? Because I am. Is there anything here? Aside from just the control, I don't think so. Code printer. There we go. Porter, you have forced my hand, you see? The thinker is shut down. That leaves only two variables. You and me. The equation ends here. What the hell is wrong with his mouth? Sigma, it is Dr. Tannenbaum. With the computer disabled, Minerva's den is falling to pieces. No pressure regulation, no air supply. You must defeat Vol and bring the Thinker back to full power. So here we go, and there's an Alpha series ready to uh, kick our ass as well. Ow. Um, let's get out of here. Where the hell is he going? There we go. And I'm out of bullets. Did I search him? Yeah, I did. 
Where's the other one? Oh, the other one froze. Shit. And I didn't even do that. No, 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 Oh, did he just fire, get fired on by his own buddy? Oh, God. That was on my face. Your moment has come, old friend. I stand before you. The trusted partner who put a knife in your back. Do not disappoint me. Old friend. Wall is calling us an old friend. Oh, oh, shit, shit. I'm... I'm kind of stuck here. Um, boom, 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 boom. Rivets. There's wall. Let's. Ooh. I don't have enough money. This might be the end of me. More trap rivets over here. Might be able to hack this thing. There we go. Another turret for me. Where is he? There's a lot of money down there. Um, that should do the trick. That should do the trick. Die wall, die. Whew. Okay. Quickly, Pseudo. take the administrator punch card from Val's body and reactivate the thinker. I will, I will, I will. Just filling up, filling up. I knew there was money right in front of this thing. God damn it. Okay, never mind. Let's get everything over here. Buy another health kit and uh, let's get back upstairs and reactivate the thinker's code printer. I'm guessing by now you figured out what the hell is going on, but... I don't want to spell it out. I'm just gonna have uh, the game do it for me. Here we go. Mainframe reactivated. Confirming user's genetic identity. Genetic identity confirmed. Alpha series. Subject Sigma. Former identity. Charles Milton Porter. There we go. We are Porter. Welcome back. Milton. System in, in ending personality duplication. Subject Charles Milton Porter. And the Tinker was impersonating us. So we've been talking to the Tinker you all see along. Now why I let the machine speak for you, Mr. Porter. We needed a voice that would be familiar, comforting, your own. With that copy of the Thinker's programming, we may return to the surface and use it to restore you to the man you once were. Please, collect the printout and meet me at your bathysphere dock. Take your time, Mr. Porter. I will be waiting. And this plot twist is why this game, this, this DLC is so amazing. So... That's what happens. In Persephone, we've seen that in the main game. In Persephone, the prisoners were used to experimental and they were turned into big daddies. So, uh, same with Subject Delta, who was uh, Johnny Topside before he got uh, turned into uh, Delta. And same with Porter. Porter was, well, taken by Andrew Ryan and then turned into a big daddy himself. Which uh, was the reason that Tenenbaum realized that Subject Sigma would be perfect to get uh, the Tinker back to the surface. Because of course Sigma is the creator of the Tinker and the Tinker would go with that as well. Because he knew that Sigma was Porter. And to uh, put Sigma's mind at ease they used Porter's own voice to uh, let the Tinker talk to him. Um, where the hell do I need to go actually? Is that... 
back here then? It might be. Uh, yeah, now probably one of the doors will be locked and I can go office of Charles Milton Porter. That might be... Or is that where we came from? Nope, nope, this is it. Porter's office. Well, his second office, because we had an office in Minerva's Den as well. Let's call the elevator. And this is why this DLC is so amazing. It's a shorter story. We have a lot of powers. We get one after the other. The progression is a lot faster, which makes it actually more enjoyable to play. We don't have the research camera to deal with. And yeah, the only thing they might have changed, in my opinion, is the gathering, because gathering is still a very tedious process. And then, of course, this amazing story. This uh, story of a creator desperate of getting his uh, wife back using an AI and then, uh, well, getting his own creation used against him. But here we go, Pearl. I believe I'm done feeding audio recordings and personal anecdotes to the thinker. I am set to test the personality duplication function. Target personality, Pearl Porter. Thinker, are you ready? Yes, Milton. <clears throat> Starting test. Hello, Pearl. Hello, Milton. How... <clears throat> How have you been? Just wonderful, Milton. I've missed you, though. It's been so long. Pearl, I... No. No, this isn't right. It isn't her. Thinker, stop the test. But what's the matter, Milton? Oh, God. Don't you still love me? Oh, God, I... Oh, God, I said... I said, end function, Thinker. Now! It's over. So, yeah. He, um... He achieved his goal, but... It's not the same, right? I mean, if, you're, if your lover dies and you get a machine to imitate her, you still know she's dead. She's, she's still dead. And he couldn't live with that. So he just created an amazing machine. And a machine capable of great things. But then he, he realized he... Uh, whatever he wanted to achieve was not the the way forward it was not the way he could he could deal with his grief but it, it's such so so, so heart-wrenching i mean the, the man lost his wife through war and then tried his entire life to get everything back only to realize that this this would would never work he would feel that something's wrong and yeah piano almost broken piano but now let's let's bring Porter well not home well maybe home to London and get him out of this place. Because this is not this is not where he should spend his final days. He should be able to uh, spend his final days in peace and uh, get out of here. Maybe use his intellect for something something better. Something Yeah. Something different. And rapture. Bit of a shrine to Pearl. I actually did read a lot of this, so dear Mr. Porter, I have learned of the death of your wife, Pearl. I hereby extend to you my heartfelt sympathy in your great loss. Very truly yours, Prime Minister Winston Churchill. Aerial torpedo dropped in Central Area during night raids. And he lost his wife during that attack in a wedding ceremony. Pearl Anne and Charles Milton. And there we go. And then of course Pearl herself. This is... Yeah. This is just an amazing piece of DLC. And especially this final... How would, I, would we call this? The final half hour is just so... So nicely done. So touching. So full of detail. Every moment spaced evenly out so that the twists come one after the other. And yeah, it's just perfect. The thinker never gave up on you, Mr. Porter. It could not leave you behind. 
Please, step up to the console and begin the bathysphere launch sequence. We have much work ahead of us. That we do, Bridget. That we do. This is actually interesting because it's one of the only times we actually can see a character right in front of us instead of just... Well, having to talk to her or him through uh, a window. But here we go. We'd like to watch Tannenbaum here, but log out. Log out. Here we go. Back to the surface. I lived through the Blitz, Pearl, and the fall of Rapture. They took my memory, my voice, everything that made me a man. But nothing ever scared me so much as saying goodbye. I wanted to save you. I couldn't resist trying to bring you back the only way I knew how. But you didn't want that. I know it now. And I think I'm finally ready to let you go your way. I stand here with the sun on my face. And it's almost like I can feel you smiling. Goodbye, Pearl. I love you more than I've got words for. Milton. And there we go. The end of Minerva's Den. Oh god, I'm crying again. God damn it. Okay, yeah. Um, it's such an amazing piece of DLC. It still is. I mean, the second time I played it and I'm still, uh, I still have uh, something in my truth now. Blind Squirrel Games, because those are the guys that uh, made the... Uh, PS4 version, so the, the next gen, the remastered. And yeah, this was just such a great experience, and I'm glad I could share that with you guys. Uh, I hope I didn't spoil too much beforehand. Uh, let the story run its course. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to uh, like this video and maybe the entire series. Watch it again if you want. Um, and yeah. I'm glad I could share that with you. Uh, next up, we're gonna do, of course, the next Bioshock. Next up is gonna be Bioshock Infinite. And after that, of course, the DLC for Bioshock Infinite, because that's that's a very interesting game in its own right. Um, I think I actually might have less problems with the music in that game. Yeah, it's also a very, very cool game. Typical Bioshock game, uh, but not in Rapture. We're gonna go to Columbia next time, so... Uh, Hope I see you guys there. Thank you guys enormously for watching and for all the support. And uh, see you guys next time. Goodbye.